All right, Landon, what are we doing here today? Uh, did some charity auctions for the breweries in Knoxville. So we did two whale of an auction, and then we did a live stream that Lock and Key Productions filmed for us. Well, someone donated this beer for the first auction. We've been researching crazy beers, cellared beers, whale beers, and this guy... Beers that might have gone wrong. ...is a little special guy. You probably recognize the iconic bottle. This is the Goose Island Bourbon County brand stout. But this bottle is a 2015 Bourbon County brand stout. And what's the date landed? October 21st. What's special about that date? This beer is definitely contaminated. There have been lawsuits over this beer. A whole bunch of people got their beer refunded, free t-shirts. It kind of tarnished the Bourbon County brand for a year. I don't, I think people didn't trust the 2016 when it came out. And then mm. after it, uh, Goose Island started pasteurizing and doing other things that change the trajectory. Change the trajectory. It's no, it's no longer this bottle conditioned beer, but now something that's pasteurized and a bit more commercialized. Kind of the last of now dead breed. After doing research, we realized, ugh, probably shouldn't auction off a contaminated beer. We did do a flight. Yeah, we did a vertical of the Bourbon County brand barley wine, and there was a 2015 in, the air, in there as well. Date didn't match up with what Goose Island had released. But some of them were maybe, maybe not. There had been reviews of some being sour, some being infected, some not. You never know, really, is what we ended up yeah. learning. That's part of the adventure of craft beer, especially when you introduce wild bacteria in a barrel age thing. That's well, what we're here for. Well, we thought it'd be fun to drink it on camera. Me and Zach from Brew Tours drank that disgusting volunteer brown ale. That was fun. So we thought it'd be fun to drink another contaminated beer. What do you anticipate from this beer? What I want and what I really expect are two totally different things. I want this just to be a standard issue Bourbon County. I no, don't, nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I don't want it to be something that I'm worried until it hits my tongue. Right now, I'm kind of anticipating some funk. And it's going to get funky. What do you think's coming? I've read reviews on this beer. It's a drain dumper. It's disgusting, yada, yada, yada. It's a 14.5% stout. I'm hoping the malty background and like the barrel flavor can actually fight with the contamination. And I'm hoping it's just a kind of complex malty sour. Maybe this redefines a category or something uh, I like mean, that. Maybe it, maybe it makes us realize that contaminated shouldn't have such a bad yeah, I mean, I've, I've drank super malty, can't see through delicious sours. That's what I'm kind of hoping it is. But it may be real gross. You want to crack our open? Let's do it. Say goodbye to this bottle. I, I, it smells a little dark and it's, funky. It, it's got the tinge of sour hitting your nostrils. But sour has been such a big thing in the last two or three years that maybe it yeah. slipped under the radar. Uh, let's give it a good look. Color, super creamy kind of, got some nice lacing, cannot see through it. Motor oil and color, which is expected. Yeah, I mean. There's something yeah, going I'm on Yeah, I'm getting here. that just. <laughs> yes. Okay, don't expect anything, wait. don't expect anything. That's what I'm telling I myself. Mean, wait, I mean, I'm still getting barrel Definitely. and sweetness yeah. and chocolate and some vanilla flavor. There's some richness my, on my there. Nose. So, you know, I'm ready for it. I hope it's I'm ready. delicious. Honestly, no complaints. That is not bad. That is... There are not infected beers that are a whole bunch worse Correct. than that. That's not bad at all. So it's it, about room temperature. And honestly, I'm super surprised. I'll be damned. What's all the fuss about? Well, not the good fuss, the bad fuss. If this beer was served to me and none of this preface was here about a contaminated beer, I wouldn't have even known. It just has that, for me, just enough funk that I'm kind of expecting from a barrel you yeah. know, right i mean it's still smooth it's still sweet i'm still getting chocolate maybe a little bit of leather and like a little bit of funkiness there's something going on the way that a, a aged stout typically leaves you smooth as opposed to leaving you a little bit yeah did you detect vanilla any 
I mean, yeah, I'm getting that complex sweetness. I'm not. I don't know if my palate's good enough to go. That's vanilla, but I'm getting those big boozy malty sweetness that vanilla the smoke is still there. Oh yeah, I'm mm. getting lots of barrel. I mean, it, yeah, especially on this like aftertaste. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm okay I, with this. Y'all take a risk. If someone's giving away a 2015 Bourbon County brand stout... And they just think it's bad. And they think it's bad. Go with them on it and say, yeah, it. man. You may be able to pick one up at a bargain. <laughs> Someone might be willing to give it away if they got a kick-ass seller. But give her a shot. That was good. This could be just like the, the best infected bottle that did come out. Yeah. This could be very middle of the road. It could be the worst. But if anything that you try that's a infected bourbon county is near this so there's no reason to when, complain I'm, yeah i'm probably gonna check it in to untap give it a good old four stars we're never gonna have a chance to buy a new manufactured bottle of this bourbon county stout again i mean we could get a 2020 when it comes out but it's not gonna have the story Correct. the polarizing kind of value that this one has i'm floored this is best case scenario yeah if this I... is contaminated my tongue's broken because i think this is delicious you all may know what a really infected beer tastes like this is not it i am so it. happy that this is delicious i thought we'd have some puckery face nasty reactions but it's, it's it's so good actually drinking it a little too fast i, I know that's still 14 percent. i thought that we were going to have more to talk about how we can taste this but there's going to be this sour thing yeah. going on it's just good it's just good yeah overall this was awesome if I could have bought another one of these, I probably would. Yeah. Well, you guys, if you enjoyed this, we do have two more beers that are contaminated. An infected series. Yeah, we, we someone gave them to us knowing they were contaminated, thinking that maybe a beer nerd out there would want them. Guess what? We're nerdy enough to want to drink contaminated beer. Uh, and they are two brewery beers. Hopefully it's a bit less anticlimactic. I didn't mention it earlier. This is the Brewery Leaf t-shirt. Uh, gonna be available on the GoFundMe. It's gonna be linked down below. Buy you a t-shirt on the GoFundMe page? Definitely, they're good looking. Give us a follow on social media. Knox Warm Up on Facebook. Knox Warm Up on Instagram. Follow us on both those platforms for new stuff. We might be doing another auction in the future. Uh, We're just getting our energy back. Correct. Uh, take a chance Pretentious on a contaminated beer. Take a chance. Cheers, y'all. Cheers.